Hi, I'm Joe Walensky from Blink, and I'm meeting with some of the presenters who will be at our Convey UX event in February in Seattle. Uh, t today, I am speaking with Kelly Goto. Hello, Kelly. Hi, how are you? All right, where are you speaking to us from today? I am from Half Moon Bay, and it's about 45 minutes outside of San Francisco on the coast. All right, well, great. Well, uh, uh, if you're not familiar with Kelly, uh, she uh, founded GoToMedia, a research and design consultancy, and uh, one of her specialties is design ethnography. She's the author of the popular book, Workflow That Works, and she's going to be making uh, two presentations at the uh, conference. Uh, one is a 90-minute workshop uh, on uh, lean ethnography, uh, and the other is a uh, thought provoking session called Beyond Usable. So uh, Kelly, why don't you give us an idea, a preview of what those will be about. Okay, well thank you. I have been really passionate about getting into uh, understanding of people's lives and emotions and a little bit more about what drives them and, and how to take that behavior and sort of develop a little bit more of a specific emotional based product strategy around that. So the session Beyond Usable is kind of thinking about how we get to the underside of the user experience. So there's what we know, what we don't know, and it's mostly subconscious. And there's that little in-between point where people feel very drawn towards certain services, certain products. They're attached in a deeper, more meaningful level. And we try and unpack that and get into why they're driven to use specific things in specific ways. So contextual research has always been part of that process where we don't just take one specific instance but we're looking across time across context and across multi-device experiences so it's a short very you know close to my heart session about where we're going and what we need to do as user experience designers and practitioners in order to get there and what about uh, your uh, longer session the 90 minute workshop yeah, the workshop kind of parlays directly on to if the, if the first session, the 90 minute session, or excuse me, the, the kind of the more keynote session is more of a thought piece, then the workshop is the hands-on component and how do we get into more lean processes around research. And it's called lean ethnography, it's a little bit of a catchphrase because ethnography usually is a longer, sort of more deeper session, but we've had a lot of success with short targeted interviews really specific types of questions that get right into what people are thinking and feeling. And then we've also done a lot of very simple diary studies across time. And I'll show you and share with you some very real world techniques, things that work, things that don't work, how to recruit, you know, how to get down the street if you need to, how to tell stories, and um, really sort of change the behavior of practitioners. It doesn't need to be all the high-end researchers doing all the work. It can really be about you as a UX person getting out there, meeting your customers, understanding their needs, and then really taking it back to the workplace and applying it into the interfaces and the products and the services that we're creating. Um, for, for, for people that may not be uh, that familiar with uh, eth ethnography, uh, you know, what are some of the areas that uh, you'd look into to learn more about it and to uh, understand the benefits of that? You know, I, I've been using the term for about 18 years and in my mind, ethnography goes way deeper into the way people live. And so the way I tend to think about it as if there was what people think they might do and what they actually do is really quite different. So maybe a focus group or a survey is what people think they might do. But naturally, you know, getting into their lives and seeing what they're doing on a regular basis, that is what they are doing on a daily, you know, lifestyle basis. And that's really what we're trying to get to. So I really do believe in combining methods of research. So um, we do a lot of qualitative and quantitative data gathering and then sort of merge the two into patterns, but then we get into the why behind a certain pattern of activity. So you might see um, a Google Analytics page, you might see people going to something specific, but you don't really understand why they're doing that. And so when we combine more contextual insight gathering, a little more in-person research, we can get really into what's motivating that behavior rather than just seeing a pattern and sort of wondering what to do about it. All right, great. Well, uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to uh, preview your sessions, and we'll see you uh, in Seattle in February. Yeah, I'm excited, and I'm actually from Seattle, so uh, maybe I'll have a moment to say hi to my parents and some friends while I'm up there, but thank you so much, and, um, and I'm looking forward to it. Right, thank you.